one thing that's exceptionally pleasurable about uh, this particular dining experience, which across the board I believe is extremely lacking, is the luxury of real cutlery. Because you don't know how difficult it is to cut through bacon with a plastic knife. A bit of hot sauce on there. So I feel as though I harbor a sentiment quite typical of my social demographic. I cling to this admiration for the complimentary breakfast service staff as if that's enough to justify the services that I have taken from them. As if I have some sort of solidarity through the simultaneous reliance and resentment of the hotel as a structure. But I have no real cause to resent the hotel. And I have no real cause, therefore, to feel deserving of that solidarity with the service staff. That feeling of connection with them is just another service that they have provided that is complementary to me. But, so today I've, I've donned this monochromatic denim uniform and will attempt to approximate the complementary breakfast service. And in many ways, this is the first time compliments can truly go to the chef. First of all, you have two key classes of complimentary breakfast. You have the hot complimentary breakfast, and then there's the standard complimentary breakfast. So in hotels like Best Western, Hampton Inn, Holiday Inn Express, there is always offering of eggs, some sort of protein, and then some sort of breakfast-oriented carbohydrate or starch. So that is the higher class complimentary breakfast. And then there is a whole kind of spectrum heading towards those that simply include a cereal, toast. And then you have the chaotic centerpiece of the entire complimentary breakfast experience, which is joked about in television shows and that sort of thing, which is the Belgian waffle. And part of the thing with that is that absolute chaos surrounds any situation where people have so much autonomy. One of the um, complimentary breakfast serving women told me that you can't overcook the scrambled eggs. And I think it's true. I may have overcooked them a little bit. Or cooked them at too high of a heat. But they do taste like egg. So the eggs are oftentimes scrambled eggs, and I assume this is standard operating procedure where they've got some sort of liquid whole egg, you're frying that up and presenting that as scrambled eggs. You will also see other methods of providing eggs. The Hampton Inn and Holiday Inn Express will sometimes offer little omelets and sometimes it's just like a cheese filled half moon omelet and other times it will be the egg white vegetable omelet and so those provide a nice variety as well. The Quality Inn chooses to structure their hot complimentary breakfast around breakfast sandwiches. So they have their eggs served in a round patty shape and then often will offer a similar size sausage patty on top of that. In most hotels with the hot complimentary breakfast, they will have some sort of rotating meat. I like getting bacon because I know that it is an actual cut of meat, whereas with sausages, sausage patties, that sort of thing, you don't know exactly what's in there. Whereas this, like, of course, I'm constantly concerned about the sodium nitrate, but at least you are able to recognize the form of bacon. The hot complimentary breakfast starch is usually either potatoes or biscuits and gravy. 
But so these, I thought it was fitting. This is your no-name brand, hash browns. This is quite similar to the potato offerings they have. Sometimes the potatoes that they offer are the thing that is the most real tasting, the least processed, and the most finessed in the English. Regionally, the hot complimentary breakfast start became quite often biscuits and gravy which I enjoy, except for Holiday Inn Express didn't make good gravy. And the biscuits themselves weren't bad, but for some reason, their gravy doesn't taste very good. It's just not as good gravy. So in those cases, I would sometimes be opting for the pancake, which comes out of this machine. Or I might have a bagel with cream cheese or peanut butter after I had had my scrambled eggs or my omelet and my meat. So this is actually from a complimentary breakfast. This is a packaged bagel. Oftentimes you'll have better bread offerings than this. Different grain structures within this sliced bread. Sometimes there will be English muffins. And those are accompanied by a variety of, of spreads. So you have your jam, your peanut butter, your, sometimes when you're lucky, honey. Uh, you'll have cereal, and so that's usually either packaged in individual servings, like this. Oftentimes it will be Kellogg's products, sometimes you'll see a variety. Sometimes the cereal is dispensed from these glass containers as opposed to this form. And then you have oatmeal, and that will either come in this form, uh, where you're preparing it yourself, adding water, or it will be pre-made and sitting in a, a hot container. And regionally, that changed over to grits for a bit in the south. And then one thing with the pre-made oatmeal or grits, that I found really helpful within the context of the complimentary breakfast club is that they also have a variety of toppings. And those were actually quite interesting resources because you had raisins, you had other dried fruit, sometimes fresh fruit, nuts, mm -hmm. all of those sorts of things. And of course, invariably, there's always that final gesture, the offering of health. The offering of fresh fruit the the fruit of knowledge that there are good and evil foods and and the kind of underhanded reminder that likely what you just consumed was was the latter of course you've got the people that pick up the apple eagerly and 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 eat it as part of their breakfast knowing that they're making the healthy decision while the rest of us are are feeding on salty bacon and sausage and, and eggs and they will live longer for it but the rest of us we file past the fruit bowl and we pick up one grudgingly because we are reminded by our our caregiver that is the hotel that is the complimentary breakfast servers that this is an important part of our diet. And we, we take it often to go hoping that we'll forget about it, but once again, it's presented to us. It brings me to a third tier of hotel, places like the Residence Inn and the various extended stay suite hotels will provide a slightly more finessed breakfast. But beyond that, the way they presented the fresh fruit, they had a variety. They had strawberries, they had cantaloupe. You could top it with freshly grated coconut. I must admit, I did appreciate that gesture on their part where they made the fruit appealing, as opposed to it simply being a gesture because we know it's supposed to be healthy and simultaneously you know you should be eating it. However, as they encourage you to consume your fresh fruit, they also provide you with your soft drinks. This is the aspect of the hotel that I, I resent, is, is the fact that I'm, I'm tempted by these things. 
but I guess ultimately, despite their uniform, despite the different brands of homogeny that they they encapsulate by providing you with with these resources, I truly believe that in my interaction with these breakfast servers, this is their ultimate spirit. This is the care that they provide, and this is what I value them for. Somewhat grudgingly, though. <laughs>